Good morning. Welcome to the week. How you guys doing? Woo! All right. Welcome into December 12th. I hope everything is going great. Boy, we are moving along, aren't we, my darlings? My goodness. All right. Let's see where we're going here. All right. Peace out, babies. Peace out. Monday morning. You're cool. You're good. No worries. No worries. All right. Wandering path. Staying focused. And that's interesting. Wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Uh, I'm getting the sense that there is kind of a feeling of uh, an oxymoron going on. Okay. Meaning, hey, things are kind of twisty and turny, but I've still got to stay focused. You may be getting a lot of distractions this week. There may be, I mean, obviously we do have holidays going on and, you know, all kinds of craziness in December. That's usually how it feels. You know, because there's a lot layered onto our lives. We go to work and we have our families and we do the normal kinds of things that we do every day, but we're also shopping for holidays. We're planning parties. We're going to parties where, you know, there's lots of things, lots of people that we need to make sure we connect with during this time. Stay focused uh, in terms of your spiritual work here, okay, wise leader, uh, because there are some things that are going to be shown to you if you do. You know, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get the message if you're like got a million things going on, everything like that. But I feel like it'll be a lot easier for you if you stay grounded one day at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Have your list going. Continue with your meditation practice. Don't dump out on things like that. OK, don't dump out on things like that. It's really important right now. All right. Why is it important? So let's see in this reading. Why is that important? Why is that important? Okay. All right. The Empress underneath. Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Page of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. That was in the same position in a reading I just did, I think, for whoever last night. The Eight of Pentacles right there. And I believe the Page of Pentacles was also in the same position. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Moon. Okay. There's stuff going on behind the scenes that if you get kind of uh, turned around or overwhelmed or not paying attention to, uh, could, could be... Um, I don't feel like it's... I don't feel like necessarily there's going to be like a, some kind of uh, fallout from that. I just feel like you'll, you'll feel more uh grounded if you stay grounded uh you'll feel more in your body you'll feel more in your path you'll feel more able to manage all of this stuff that's going on around you if you pay attention and stay grounded right now stay focused there's a five of swords going on so five of swords is about manipulation i don't like it next to the seven of swords and i sure as hell don't like it next to the moon all right, so Hermit, King of Swords, Tower, wow, Death, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. All right, so happily, when I first pulled this, I was like, oh my God. Okay, so uh, the Hermit and the King of Swords, King of Swords is like, I'm totally paying attention. Tower energy and Death, right? There is something coming through here, but I feel like it's a positive thing. I was really like, oh dear, but, and especially with tower and death, but it's a positive thing. Knight of cups and the two of cups, spoiler, something good is coming, coming. Something really good is coming. So you are moving down this road. You are keeping your eye on the prize, the ace of pentacles right there. I love this energy of the page of wands, wheel of fortune. This is on your path. So some of you have gotten up out of a kind of a morass of confusion or stuckness or, you know, confusion and stuckness can kind of feel like the same thing. It's like, I'm not sure what to do next. So the page of pentacles and the eight of pentacles here, for sure. Uh, you're definitely uh, seeing a new, uh, like a renewed sense of inspiration for your work. I feel like that's expanding. That's what this is. Okay. Like stepping into becoming the hermit and the king of swords. This is, um, 
this is Virgo energy and this is Aquarian energy, right? So Virgo energy is grounded and being able to see the path easily with my lantern. King of Swords is also being able to see the path clearly. Tower is a surprise. So we have the Aquarian energy uh, ruled by Uranus and Uranus is definitely surprises. Um, big change in one's life. You may have an occasion, like if you go to a party, a Christmas party, a holiday party of some kind, um, you may, uh, there may be a, a really strong soulmate there. Here's Venus, right? Taurus and Libra. There's a very strong soulmate coming in. And it does seem to me that there might be a little bit of a need to like pick your head up out of your work, pick your head up out of the busyness of the holiday season. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, the five of swords and the seven of swords. I feel like there's almost like people um, collaborating or conspiring is a more is a little darker word, but like conspiring behind your back to bring in um, this new partner. Like you might have. All right. I'm just getting the sense of like going to a holiday party and some of your friends have conspired to bring a person that they want you to meet. Or someone's like, okay, good. This is the perfect time to, you know, it's at a party. It's not a date. It's not a setup or anything like that. You've been kind of locked in your room. You've been focusing on your work. You've been not paying attention to other people or anything like that. And maybe over the course of this past year, you've been like, hmm, I'd really would like to step into this new kind of life for myself. Whatever that means to you, your work, your life, your love, your um, experience of joy, uh, whatever that means. And I think this is a secret moon. I think this is a secret. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo, an Aquarius, Pisces, Sag, Taurus, Libra. I'll look at that in the extended. Either way, this is a happy surprise. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. I'm going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune here. The Wheel of Fortune is our destiny and fate. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Temperance Energy. Oh my, yes. Okay, so this is Sagittarian time. There's Sag. Again, Sag is connected to Jupiter, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And you could, whoops, come back here. Um, you could be really focused on your own healing, which is lovely because you're paving the way. Some of you have not done this. And all of a sudden, you know, like we have this bus, hustle and bustle of the holiday time. And you are actually still doing your meditation. You're still doing your work. Remember what I said about the wandering path and the staying focused? Um, Ten of Cups. For some of you, this could be like a love of your life coming in. For some of you, this could be a breakthrough in your work. I do feel like it has to do, I mean, coming in the guise of a person, right? That's going to step you into the next level, step you into something joyful, uh, offering this cup of love, the Knight of Cups is quite romantic um, in nature, but that King of Swords is like, okay, I'm all of a sudden, I'm like, well, I'm really focused on my spiritual path. And then all of a sudden I see it and then boom, this is crazy. This is big change. And I'm not, I wasn't really prepared for it. That's why wandering path, staying focused. Do the thing, if you are manifesting, Let's just use the, use the word joy, all right? If you are manifesting joy in your life, that's a pretty broad term. What does that look like? And each one of us has our own definition of what that looks like, which is why the universe is like, yep, if you want peace, okay, right? This, <laughs> this, is, how, this is how I'm bringing peace to you because of your current frequency, whatever level of consciousness you're on. So if you are, if you have been really, really working, which I feel like you have the Knight of, um, I'm sorry, the uh, Hermit and the King of Swords. If you've been really working, it's almost like this big change shows. I feel like it's so weird that I feel that moon and tower and death are a positive thing. Are you stuck? Are you trapped under something heavy and unable to come to the door because <laughs> I do feel that this is next level stuff. And I think this is something about being rewarded for 
time served, being rewarded for putting in the effort and time, you're going to know this is coming because of the little inklings of excitement. Now, it doesn't have to come in, in the guise of a person, but you could get excited about something during the next week. You could be feeling like, wow, there's so much cool stuff that I could be doing. Okay, I'm going to get grounded. I'm going to continue to work on my path. I'm going to continue to meditate and all of that to kind of keep from getting distracted. We are in Sagittarius time, after all. As a Sag, I can say this quite confidently. Got a lot of interests. We could scatter our energies really easily, but you haven't done that, right? Staying focused, wandering path. You haven't done that. And if you have, heads up, it's time to really buckle down because the, the uh, hermit and the king of swords is grounded in spiritual awareness, grounded in my path, knowing where I'm going. So even though like things kind of like twist and turn, um, I'm kind of like rolling with it. Like I don't really get toppled over. I'm not rigid. So I don't get knocked over by a, you know, a stiff wind or anything. I'm able to see things clearly. I'm doing the healing work. I'm doing what I'm doing in, in seeing the next stoplight or the next green light or the next plan. I'm really seeing that and I'm going right toward it. What surprises me though about this is why does it have to show up as a tower? Why is that necessary? It seems to me that this is a very kind of cold, solitary experience. And regardless of how helpful it is or will be, that's no longer necessary. And the universe has been trying to bring in, uh, and you might have seen them as distractions. Okay. The universe is saying, actually, they weren't distractions. It was just a different level of this, right? The wandering path. It was just a different branch of this. We're all going to the same direction or the same end goal, but eh, I could take this road and then it comes back around. I could, you know, this is not a, this is more, a lot of the vi villages here in Europe uh, have more meandering kind of roads, right? Like it's not a grid um, like Chicago or, or, uh, or even New York. It's not a grid of like, okay, this road goes all the way up and then the do, 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 very evenly spaced and also very uh, organized. Whatever you say about driving in there, whatever. But uh, it's more of a old world kind of, uh, in order to feel on my path or feel King of Swords, like I know where I'm going, I'm allowing myself to be sort of moved around. It's a different feeling. And from being like, nope, head down one step in front of the other. There's no other way to get to this awakening. There's no other way to sort of circle around and learn something new over here and la, 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 la. But we're in Sagittarian time and Sag, Sag is adventurous. Sag has a, a thirst for what's around that next corner. And I don't think, I think that up until now, that has not been what I've been saying about the path. I've been saying a lot of like head down, one step in, what foot in front of the other, like this eight of pentacles guy, like I'm working on this pentacle and then I will work on that pentacle. Instead, it's more, um, what will the day bring? You know, it's like having a philosophy of something guiding your steps. Now, you may have the same philosophy I do. Let's say, okay, we both want to become well-educated. That can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. To some of you, it means getting a PhD. To some of you, it means ex exploring the world. To some of you, it means um, listening to a million podcasts. To some of you, it means talking with people. It means experiencing, like what, whatever your roadmap is, the, the uh, being educated is the, or educated in terms of um, understanding the world and how it works. A lot of you have different paths to get there. And I feel like this is saying to me that while we at one time, maybe in 2022, 2021, 2020, in terms of, you know, we were in COVID and all kinds of crazy stuff had happened. We think there's one way out of that. But what if there were a lot of ways? What if there are a lot of ways to get to what we want to do or what we want to achieve in life? And I think some of you might be thinking that not trusting that there are more ways 
to do things than just your way, right? There's more ways to go down a road to become, you know, educated. I'm just going to use that word for lack of a better word because that's one popped in my head. To become educated about the world, there's many, many more ways. And this feels to me like you finally see that. Like you're finally like, oh, right? If I want to go to, um, you know, the the Eiffel Tower, I can get there by going over here and then da, da, we can go to lunch over here or I can go straight toward it or I can, you know, I can kind of wait until the lights come on and then I'm like mystically transported to it, right? There's just a million different ways that people think about that when they um, try to get from point A to point B. This is about getting from point A to point B in the way that serves your soul. And there is a reward here, Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. You think that there's a secret going on, there's manipulation going on, people are lying to you. No, there's stuff going on. The universe is moving stuff around so that when you reach this goal or when you come to the place of acceptance and pulling it in and wanting it to be pulled in, gifty, little reward for that. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So I'm gonna continue to explore this. I will look at Sag. Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio. Correct? Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. Let's see where we go. This is a meandering kind of path, but I just want to remind you that there's something good at the end of this. So let's see how it works out. Okay? Link is below. I'll see you over there if you want to continue on. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.